Greetings and welcome once more to another episode of Sonic Odyssey, the music video channel dedicated to bringing you the last five decades or so of music in review and discussion format. But before we dive into today's music, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Please be sure to like the video by clicking the thumbs up button. That helps the YouTube algorithm get the video out to more people and the more people we get viewing the videos, the higher the, hopefully, the subscriber count and viewer counts will go up, so please remember to hit that like button. Also, most importantly, cons consider hitting the subscribe button and maybe even the little bell icon that appears next to the uh, subscribe button when you click it, and that way you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Lastly, you can share the video with your friends through social media networks such as Facebook and Twitter, simply by clicking the share button, and you'll see that there are also many, many other social media networks available to choose from. Finally, and most humbly, I would ask you to consider visiting my Patreon page, for which there is a link in the show description right below the video, and there you can see the different tiers that are available if you'd like to help contribute to the channel. You can have your name listed in the end credits of each video, and you can even go so far as to select an album for me to review here on the channel. That's the housekeeping out of the way. Now on to today's topic. Today we're going to be listening to and looking at the music of Ukrainian artist Antony Kalugin, and uh, his band, or one of his bands, Carfigan. But let's get a little bit of info about him before we dive into the music. So, Carfigan is the brainchild of Anthony Callaghan, and uh, he is a composer, programmer, producer, arranger, a mixer, and a multi-instrumentalist. He's been creating music since 2003. He entered the career of music creating New Age music, <clears throat> but around 2008 he decided to step into the area of a more progressive style of music. So his short, relatively short, career has been very prodigious. He's been involved with over 40 projects over the last uh, 19 years, and the categories of music that he is involved with uh, range from neoclassical, symphonic, progressive art rock to a more direct progressive rock, as influenced by such uh, artists as Pink Floyd, Peter Gabriel, Camel, Rick Wakeman, uh, Tony Banks, and others. As of the time of recording, uh, according to one of his most recent posts on his Bandcamp page, he is still in Ukraine and uh, staying at a friend's house. His wife and child are safely in Poland. Antony has recorded under a few different names, uh, Carfigan being one of them, uh, but also Sunchild, Hogwash, AKKO, and also a number of albums just under his name, Antony Kalugan. Each of these different bands or recordings have their own style and vision, and therefore he does really require having these different uh, projects to which he can focus those individual soundscapes and styles of music that he wants to uh, put forward at that time. The album we're listening to today is from Carfigan and features a slew of guest musicians. Uh, more on, on them later. And it's 99.8% instrumental. There's a, a very, very little bit of vocalization during one song, The Hunter, uh, but that is really just vocal utterances and not really uh, singing or song of any sort whatsoever. The album that we're looking at is principles and theory of spectra, 
And it's a concept album divided up into two parts, phase one and phase two, each composed of three songs. The album itself is roughly 54 minutes long, and the phase one is uh, what would be side A of an LP, and phase two would be uh, side two of the LP. The album itself was primarily composed and partially recorded during 2015 and 2016, but was revisited by Antony during uh, 2019 and 2020, and released in December of 2020. Carfigan comes from the word Cathargo, and basically it is meant as a symbol of glory and wisdom, as well as representing uh, a never-ending journey into the worlds of the forgotten past and the unpredictable future. Let's get a feel for this musical journey that we were taken on in Principles and Theory of Spectra with a snippet taken from the album's opening track entitled Levitation. As can be heard in this snippet, we get flourishes of Kalugan's keyboard work as well as uh, some tasty guitar work, uh, but also you can hear uh, the multiple instruments uh, in the background. And as I mentioned before, there are a slew of musicians on this album, and I would do them a disservice if I tried to pronounce their names. I, I looked at their list of names and... I, I don't want to uh, make a complete butchery of their pronunciation, so I'll simply say there are roughly 10 uh, musicians assisting Antony on this recording, and among the instruments that are included are uh, flute, knob, accordion, uh, violin, bassoon, oboe, drums, bass, acoustic, and electric guitars. The album, as I stated before, is broken up into the two phases, and that's what makes up this concept album. The album is a musical, instrumental concept album. Don't ask me what the concept is. I haven't been able to uh, find that out, but uh, it is listed as such and described as such uh, in what I was able to read about it. Let's get another taste for the music included on the album by taking a snippet from the last track of the album. This particular track is entitled Gravitation.
This snippet comes from later in the song and is a fine example of the blending of the symphonic and progressive rock elements. It is a marvelous piece and uh, it's set for the ending of the album is a wonderful placement. It leaves you and, and has you end the album and end the journey with uh, a peaceful and joyful experience. From start to finish, Principles and Theory of Spectra is a variety of soundscapes and it never strays too far from the symphonic progressive rock territory, but each song does have its own unique flair and style. Uh, and having such diversity of instrumentation provides for many opportunities for different soundscapes to be developed on the album. And overall, it's an upbeat and positive listening experience. Due to its incredible production value, the compositional diversity, and the general good feeling that the album brings about, uh, from going on this musical journey. I give Principle and Theory of Spectra by Antony Kalugin's Carfigan Project from 2020 five out of five stars. I realize that this is a rather high score and I don't normally give five out of fives, but this is a beautiful and marvelous exception to that rule that I usually strictly stand by. Uh, it is such a beautiful album and so marvelously produced and wonderfully performed that I can't recommend it strongly enough if you enjoy explorative, progressive, symphonic, progressive rock music. It is mellow in many places. It's very, you know, uh, peaceful and easygoing. There are parts that are a little bit more rockish and up-tempo, but for the most part, the album is overall just a brilliant exercise in br bringing joy and serenity to the listener and that's why I give it the score that I give it for its high production value, tremendous musicianship, and wonderful feeling of joy in just listening to this album. I highly recommend that you visit Anthony Kalugan's Bandcamp page. Uh, you can listen to almost everything that he's done uh, on his different album pages and you can also con you know contribute to him by purchasing your music through Bandcamp. Um, a number of the albums are available at a name your own price level which if you're you know not wanting to spend a lot of money uh, is quite useful. Um, you can spend as much as you wish, contribute as much as you wish, uh, but you can pay as little as half a euro for a complete album. Um, but I, I certainly recommend if you can contribute to uh, him in these times that unfortunately Ukraine is currently uh, undergoing at time of recording. Uh, probably it would be helpful and beneficial to him uh, and his family. So with all that being said, I thank you for your time and attention. Look forward to seeing you in the next video and until then, stay well, peace, bye bye.